UFC 129, just a couple of days away in Toronto, and our man on the scene is our Yahoo Sports MMA insider, Kevin Ioli. Kevin, how you doing? I am, well, I was going to say great, but I guess uh, not so great tonight uh, after the results of uh, the hockey playoff games. Yeah, not good. You are, uh, are putting in yeoman's work here, because I'm wearing my Yankee shirt, and if the Yankees had just lost a big game, I might not be in a, a very good mood. Uh, I wanted to get your take on what happened today at the press conference, like nothing, you know, earth shattering happened fight but uh kind of mood and the look of certain fighters like how did you think George St. Pierre looked well you know um I've seen some people here in Toronto commenting negatively on his appearance that you know that he he looked like he was dried out and you know and everything and I I I actually thought he looked pretty good um you know obviously these guys are in the middle of their weight cut but I I thought George looked great I mean they you know he he was really uh lean and and just I thought you know looked to be in fantastic condition as he always does it seemed like in a lot of ways the enormity of the event almost overshadows all the fighters even with stars as big as George St. Pierre in the card am I wrong well, I don't think you're wrong, and, and that's certainly what uh, Dana White and Lorenzo Fertitta and Frank Fertitta have been building for these last 10 years. They want to make the brand the star. They want the UFC logo, that big red logo. That's what they want to be the star and let the fighters just you know come and go as they, as they do. That's what happens uh, in sports, and that's certainly what happens in the fight game where there's a huge constant turnover. Um, you know, so, so I think it, it's no surprise that, you know, that's going, I mean, there, there is GSP mania here, believe me. I mean, there's billboard forum everywhere and people around, um, you know, I was walking around the building. I probably was asked about George 20 times before I went in at the press conference. There were people lined up at eight o'clock in the morning waiting to go in. Um, you know, it was crazy, and, and everybody that I've run into so far has been a GSP fan. So, uh, you know, certainly, uh, you know, he's not, uh, you know, being ignored by any stretch of the imagination, but I think, you know, that what we're seeing is really the, the results of 10 years of work and a vision from the Fertitta brothers and Dana White. So it looked like there was a heck of a turnout from the Canadian media, right, from the Toronto press? Oh, incredible. Um you know, the the Toronto, uh, uh, I, I should even say just the Canadian media contention. I mean, there was national media there. There was Montreal media there. Uh, I mean, it was really an amazing turnout. And, and they do a great job of covering MMA. I mean, it's, uh, you know, you, you have it at all levels, uh, radio, television, internet, newspaper, wire service. I mean, you know, they're all here. They all do a really good job reporting it. Um, there was, you know, a, a couple of stories, frankly, that I found just tasteful, just from the sense that, you know, the Toronto Globe and Mail uh, newspaper, they had they had one of their reporters grapple with Faraz Zahabi, and they showed him getting arm barred. He wrote a big, long story. And I just thought, you know, MMA is past that. We don't need to see the local guy getting shot on bar and getting beaten up you know that, that's that's a long time ago and we're past that and you know i would think a, a huge town like toronto was such a great media contingent you know can get past that they had a a little wee short story on george st pierre and they had a 20 inch you know massive piece on this reporter getting arm barred by faraz avi you know who cares about that kind of stuff scrap that but you know other than that and that's you know just maybe my own uh, bone to pick i i think that you know they've done a terrific job so far and my expectation is it's really only going to get better uh, as we get closer to the fights well let's hit a couple of points uh, if i'm correct is the globe and mail of the two papers the more conservative one and the one that's been a little less open to embracing MMA versus the star? Uh, there's four papers here. Okay, I there, thought those were the two major yeah, papers. There, there's four pa- four major uh, papers here in Toronto. Um, I think the, you know, the Globe and Mail has uh, I think it's been the Toronto Star has been uh, the paper if I'm not mistaken that they've had a lot of time you know, a tough time uh, kind of getting to but they're all out uh, this week and, and MMA is not taking a back seat. I mean, certainly uh, the Habs were big, you know, were big news here in uh, in Toronto. And sadly, I'm afraid to say that Sidney Crosby's pens are going to be news tomorrow. But, you know, but the, that doesn't mean that the media here has ignored the UFC by, by uh, you know, I think they've done a great job and, uh, and, and they've anything but ignored it. So as you see all the newspapers, you see all the TV stations, you see multiple radio stations out there. There. You know, local Canadian media. How does that make you feel, and how, how does that kind of reflect on the American media? Because you and I have been covering this for a long time since you know the UFC in the, like the '40s, and we still we we know a lot of our cohorts who still won't cover it, and we know what the media turnout is at some of the other events. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think uh, 
you know, even in Las Vegas, uh, it's not getting the kind of coverage that, you know, that it should. And I mean, that's where the UFC has the most fights. You know, they have, you know, how many, how many fights do you think a year in Las Vegas between ultimate fight nights and tough finales and regular cards? You know, they probably have eight or 10 uh, shows a year there, you know, and, and even in Las Vegas, it doesn't uh, get it. You know, I know that there are some reporters in Las Vegas that do a great job, that are very knowledgeable about uh, MMA, but, you know, they're not, uh, they're not doing more. I just don't understand, you know, how in this day and age, given what's been demonstrated is the interest of the fan base, that, that this sport isn't covered more uh, by by all forms of media. You know, if you're a newspaper and you're trying to sell newspapers, I mean, and it's it's demonstrated, you know, put, put it on your online product because kid, kids are. In the uh, the going to the online product and looking at it, and and I just think that uh, you know it's somebody with their head in the sand if if they're not doing that. Well, I mean, again, let's go back to the way the UFC has kind of presented it in terms of the size of the event. We go to boxing, and the fifty plus thousand that was at the first Pacquiao fight, forty plus thousand, kind of forced the Dallas media to put boxing, you know, back on the front burner. Um, I want you to kind of kind of compare. Uh, what the venue is going to be like. Some of the words, some of the uh, whispers you're hearing about Cowboy, uh, Cowboy Stadium versus what Rogers Center is going to look like. It's funny that you asked that because I asked Dana White that today. I said, do you think this venue will be better for the fights than Cowboy Stadium? Because Dana was at the pacquiao Claudia Claudia fight in Dallas. And so he saw the big screen uh, and everything. So he knows what that was like. And he said, I'm going to go out on a limb and predict we're going to have a better experience. He made a couple points. Number one, they built uh, a big over the cage scoreboard. It's four side. The first thing is huge. Uh, they've also got massive screens all over. They they've done more with the sound system, Steve, for this particular. Event. Dana White said that they put in double the amount of us uh, uh, sound equipment. He said it's going to sound better in the 500 level than regular arena sound anywhere. Um, you know, he's talking about it's going to be incredible atmosphere in there. You know, Joe Ferraro of Roger Sportsnet uh, showed on Joe. He got, uh, day and got a chance to see it uh, uh, before it was really built out uh, too much. Uh, they, I guess they really got into the nitty gritty late last night. Um, and Dana White's keeping it as a surprise uh, to this point, uh, despite our request. Um, so it sounds like it's going to be, you know, they've managed to get. Uh, quite the experience because one of the things about going to a UFC show, Steve, is that it, it's the experience as much as anything else, you know, and, and they need the acoustics and they need the video boards and all that. My guess is they're probably going to do something similar to what we've seen at several top ranked fights, not the Cowboy Stadium fight, but some of the other fights where they've had this huge scoreboard, like you said, that has it's either circular or four sided. You mentioned four sided. If they do that, uh, I'm telling you, from the boxing I've been at, those things are incredible. I think it'll be great. Yeah, I think, you know, I think it's going to be very interesting. And, you know, the good thing for people will be as they're looking, you know, they can just glance up as opposed to having their head glance to the side. And see, apparently there's going to be, you know, all sorts of video boards in this place. And uh, so, you know, the first eight rows, I know this, the first eight rows on the floor, which would be like the baseball box seats, they're not selling those because the seats back on the ground are going to be risers. Um, you know, the, the uh, cage is going to be kind of in the center of the field. If you think of it as a football field, you know, pretty much in the middle of the football field. So that's the story today from Toronto. We'll check in again with Kevin Ioli from Yahoo Sports, our lead MMA writer. Uh, tomorrow, and remember, Kevin knows this, but everyone else should, uh, the pay-per-view starts early, starts at 9 o'clock Eastern instead of 10 o'clock Eastern, and you can watch it right here on Yahoo Sports. Yahoo. See you, Kevin. Bye, Steve.